Hi all, let us learn the easiest way to calculate the GIR. If you understand the concept, you will not have to learn any formula. It is so easy. So suppose you are given a baby whose birth weight is 1.8 kg and you are told to give a TFR at 100 ml per kg per day. Alright, so the total fluid that comes is uh, 180 ml of fluid that will go to the baby in a day. Alright. And after calculating the antibiotics and the TPN, you get to know that the fluid that you are left with is only 105 ml. Alright, so 105 ml of fluid you are left with that you have to give to the baby. Now your consultant tells you to make a, a GIR of uh, 6 milligram per kg per minute out of this fluid this 105 ml your consultant asks you to give the GIR of 6 mg per, k per kg per minute so how will you do it so we know the total sugar that will go to a baby in a day with the GIR of 6 mg per kg per minute is 6 into the birth weight of the baby that is 1.8 into we have 24 hours in a day and we have 60 minutes all right so this formula will give me the total amount of sugar that the baby will receive in the whole day so that will come out to be around 15500 uh, uh, milligrams is so this is the total sugar that the baby will receive in a day one uh, very important concept that you should understand which we all get confused and it is very essential to understand that the fluid concentrations that we have 5D, 10D, 25D. So what it means? It means that 100 ml of that uh, fluid like 10% dextrose, 100 ml of 10% dextrose contains 10 grams of dextrose. Okay. 100 ml contains 10 grams so you should remember it like that whatever the number is 100 ml contains that much and if i convert it to 2 milligrams so it will come out to be 10000 milligram of dextrose similarly you can say for the case of uh, uh, and uh, 1 ml of 10% uh, uh, dextrose contains 100 milligram by this formula so you just remember this 1 ml 100 mg of dextrose and 10 percent dextrose and if i change it to 25 percent dextrose it will become 250 mg similarly if i change it to 5 percent dextrose it will become 50 mg of dextrose all right so this is important that you should be knowing now let's use this concept to calculate our gir 10 mg per kg per minute of gir that you want to give to the baby will be formed by uh, we are making it by 5% and 25% dextrose okay so we need it in a concentration that it gives us 6 mg per kg per minute of GIR right so going by the formula I want to give x ml of 5% dextrose and y ml of 25% dextrose so my my y is how much my y is 105 ml minus the x because 105 ml was the total fluid that i have to give to the baby all right you remember this now let's calculate i told you that 50 milligram is there in 1 ml of 5 percent dextrose and i want to give x ml of 5 percent dextrose so can i say that it is 50x of 5% dextrose that I want to give. So, our xml into 50 because that is the milligram is present in 1 ml and I want to give xml of 5% uh, dextrose. So, it becomes 50 milligram. So, by the formula, my 50x and plus my 250y should give me 15,500 ml uh, milligrams of sugar okay so we know what was our y here what did i tell you about my y my y was 105 where is it where is it okay 
my y was 105 minus the x okay my 25 percent d that means was 105 minus the x now this is the equation that you should be knowing i hope you understand till here so now the next thing is 50x plus uh, just do the uh, mathematic part that i am doing here so my 5% dextrose that is my x will be 53 ml right so from this i can easily calculate my y my y will be 105 minus 53 ml so it will be my 52 ml so what was our y 25% dextrose was our y right so my x my 5% dextrose 53 ml and my y which is 52 ml if i give in this concentration i'll be able to give a gir of 6 mg per kg per minute i'll be able to give the total uh, uh, sugar of 15500 since people find it very difficult that this part find it very confusing initially so i'm repeating again but how come this 50 x comes here that 1 ml contains 50 mg of sugar in 5% dextrose so I have to give x ml that means I have to give 50 into x amount of sugar and similarly for y 250 into y and the total amount is 15500 of sugar so with this formula we, we are able to calculate the GIR now you can cross check also so your consultant asks you to cross check how can we cross check we are we know that uh, 53 ml of 5 percent dextrose is there and by the formula that i explained you earlier i know 50 ml oh sorry 1 ml contains 50 milligram of dextrose so 53 ml will contain x amount of dextrose that will come out to be 26000 sorry 2650 similarly 1 ml of 25 percent dextrose contains 250 milligrams of sugar so 52 ml will contain 13000 of uh, sugar so the total of the two will come out to be around 15650 which is the total uh, sugar we have calculated in a day so if you understand this you will not have to remember any formula it is easy it is tricky initially but it's easier later on hope you like it thank you so much